Gastric cancer is a very difficult disease because it's a very aggressive disease and there's a, we need to be aware with the earlier diagnosis to, in order to treat better our patients. And uh, I believe that uh, one of the most limitations is about the performance status uh, of the patients because when you have the diagnosis, sometimes you have an advanced stage and also the patients are probably with not a good uh, performance status to prescribe uh, systemic treatment. I believe uh, as well that uh, other limitation is about uh, the biomarkers. Um, so you have, uh, you still not have yet a good dichotomic predictive biomarker that can uh, select uh, well the patients in order to prescribe the best uh, immuno checkpoint inhibitors. However, we have uh, uh, in this meeting here some uh, abstracts that uh, address this issue. Uh, for example, a Chinese study that uh, address like uh, simple biomarkers like uh, LDH in the blood as a, as a good biomarker to see if the patients will respond or not. Or for example, another Chinese study that uh, relate not uh, expression and, and PI3K expression with the tumor mutation burden that could be a biomarker to immunosheck point inhibitors. To optimize immunotherapy to tumor microenvironment is a really challenging. We know that the knowledge of tumor microenvironment is essential to understand the tumor behavior since we can uh, see what is what are the best uh, expression molecules that could influence in the tumor growth and metastasis. Uh, also, there are some studies ex actually presented here in ASCO from a Chinese group that they uh, assess the expression of uh, CD8, uh, CD163 and other biomarkers in the tumor microenvironment. Also, tools, there is tumor infiltrated lymphocytes and then they can correlate this kind of biomarkers with the um, tumor microenvironment and delivery of immunotherapy. They also concluded that the expression of CD8 is related with a good um, predictive factor. Combining immunotherapy uh, with other modalities, it's very promising in order to improve uh, uh, gas cancer outcomes. We have here in ASCO an abstract uh, 4041. There is a study that uh, combines uh, perioperative chemo radiotherapy with avelumab. Uh, in patients with uh, uh, local advanced disease. And this study showed an interesting uh, pathological complete response which could be uh, predictive and also prognosis biomarkers in the near future. However, uh, this study should be actually performed with a higher number of patients in phase three and phase four to see if this result could remain statistically significant or not. Uh, otherwise, combine immunotherapy with other drugs like uh, target drugs, unsure to inhibitors, chemo standard chemotherapy could also be promising in the future as well. I believe that uh, pharmacogenomics is very important in, in, our, in most our fields of oncology and uh, maybe it will be the future in advanced gas cancer as well. Uh, the possibility to study um, some drugable mutations that could uh, be related to, to the response of immunocheckpoint inhibitors could be um, a source of improvement in this, in this kind of outcomes. Also, we know uh, related to tumor mutation burden, there is a good predictive biomarker uh, in, in order to response uh, in, to immune checkpoint inhibitors as well. It's better than PDL1. And then also, we have here in ASCO some abstracts that address these issues. Um, but further results and further studies are needed to to have the final conclusion that field.
In the near future, um, we probably have the right place of immune checkpoints inhibitors combined with, uh, with uh, target drugs or some chemotherapy protocols that will improve the patient's outcomes. Uh, we have recently here to have the results deliver the ROP trial. There is one trial that combines uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors with uh, homocytomab and paclitaxel, uh, and the result will be uh, also uh, delivered here in this Congress. Also, we have a Tenergy trial that combines avilumab with um, chemotherapy based on platinum 5-FU. That uh, are um, today some standard protocols that we use in the clinical practice. And as we can see in other type of tumors, like lung or head and neck, that we have the immune checkpoints combined with standard in previous standard protocols. Uh, maybe in gas cancer, we'll get good results as well as in the near future.